okay uh, next element is construction of phase diagram for the system of stoke partially visible liquids phase diagram of two partially visible liquids partially visible mean they are uh, there are two liquids they are not visible fully they will not mix, mix fully so such as phenol and water they are partially visible they are not fully visible they are partially visible so in room temperature they appear as two phases so if we shake both solution containing uh, boiling tube we will we will see the turbidity so uh, we are going to get the base diagram to do that we will get a boiling tube and stopper we will put a we will insert a thermometer and we will add a stir and we will add uh, there are two sets of experiment in this phenol and water by using in first first set we will use 10 ml of phenol uh, and 3 ml of water in first set initial solution is 10 ml phenol and 3 ml water and we will add into this uh, boiling tube initially we can see a turbidity in room temperature we can see a turbidity so we will use a water bath with the aid of tripod and bunsen frame we will heat this water bath and so consequently this boiling tube will get heat we will use a test tube holder or boiling tube holder wooden wooden boiling tube holder we will use to handle this boiling tube and we will heat when we increase the temperature at some temperature at higher temperature than room temperature this turbidity will disappear turbidity will disappear that means at that temperature two solutions are miscible fully miscible because of that we can see a clear solution because of this disappearance we can see a clear solution we can read that temperature at that temperature the solution will get a clear solution or miscible solution we can read that temperature by using this thermometer this is T1 we will consider just T1 however we, when we getting this temperature we have to stir this solution very well that's why we are using this stir always we have to stir this solution when we read the temperature so when we heating when we increasing the solution solution we can read this T1 after reading this, this, solu uh, this temperature we will remove this Bunsen flame and we allow this water bath to cool because of this cooling of water bath this boiling tube also will be cooling at that time because of this cooling again we can see the turbidity turbidity will reappear because of this cooling that temperature when we are cooling we can read those two temperatures should be same because in that temperature that particular temperature there is a particular temperature at that temperature the solution will have a clear will give us clear solution and uh, when we are heating it will give a clear solution after cooling the uh, turbidity will reappear at that particular temperature so two temperatures should be same if not if the temperatures are not same that means you did the personal error these two temperatures should be same after getting this first reading we will add 2.5 ml of water now we, we are increasing water amount 
Phenol volume is constant, 10 ml, we will add another 2.5 ml. Now the total volume will be here 13 and 15.5 here. Okay, so we will add 2.5 ml water and again we will heat this solution by using this water bath. We can, re, uh, we can see at certain temperature, not P1, but another temperature, solution's turbidity will disappear and we, we will see a clear solution. We will record that temperature T2 as well. Now, we are heating, when we are heating we see this temperature, after we see this clear solution, we will remove this Bunsen flame and allow solutions to cool. When it is cooling, we can see a reappearance of that turbidity. We will read that temperature. That temperature is equal to disappearance temperature. Reappearing temperature is equal to disappearance temperature. If not, you made a mistake. Okay. Likewise, we will increase 2.5 ml of water again. Likewise, we will increase uh, water up to 15 ml. Total volume of added water will be 15 after adding this this type of 2.5 portions that means 7 times 7 times uh, total volume will be 80 so after 7 times we will uh, conclude our data according to temperature versus composition of phenol How can you get the composition of phenol? Uh, they will provide you the density of phenol. It is 94. Uh, sorry, uh, it is 1.071 kilograms per cubic meter, and molecular mass of phenol 94 gram per mole. By using these two data. We know the initial volume 10 ml. In this first set, the volume of phenol is 10 ml always. We increasing only water volume. By using this data, you can calculate the number of moles of phenol. Now, you know the density of water and you know the added volume initially 3 after 2.5. Likewise, you add water. By using that data, density of water, you can calculate the mole amount of water. So, now in, in water, mole amount of water and plus in phenol, you can get the total number of moles of both solution and as the numerator you can use in phenol. So, this is the composition of phenol. This is the x-axis, so you can plot a graph. By using this first set of data, you can you will obtain this type of curve. Okay, this is first half of the curve. So we will use another set of second set of uh, experiments also. Here we use as the second set, this is first set, as the second set we will use 2 ml of phenol and 2 ml of water. This is the first one. Again we will add these two solutions into a boiling tube. We will ins input or insert a thermometer and a stirrer and we will heat this on a water bath by using a Bunsen flame. Again you can heat the so initially the solution as a turbidity in room temperature, we will increase the temperature at one temperature, we mean, I mean uh, T3 at some temperature when we increasing, this turbidity will disappear. We will read that temperature as T3. After getting that reading, we will remove the Bunsen flame and we allow the solution, in, solution to cool. When it cooling, again we can see a reappearance of turbidity. We can read that solution uh, temperature, that two temperatures increasing and decreasing and disappearance and appearance temperature should be same. If not, it's a personal error. 
Likewise, next I will add uh, 4 ml of water and again we will do this thing. Likewise, I will increase the amount of water, added water. So final added volume of water will be 25 or something. Likewise, you can get series of temperature readings after appearance, uh, dis disappearance and appearance. So you will get another set of data and this type of curve. So this is the final phase diagram of your two invisible liquids. This is the upper critical temperature. So this is the overview of this experiment. What are the major things you have to know? We will not use direct flame. Sometimes you, may, you will say we can use Bunsen flame and directly we can use this flame to heat this boiling tube. No, we are, we are not using that because when we using direct flame, what will happen? Temperature increment will be very drastic. Certain temperature range we can't read by using this uh, thermometer because, because it is very rapid. We have to control temperature increments. That's why we are using this water bath. Okay. On the other hand, when we dealing with phenol, phenol if phenol uh, spill into our skin, the skin will burn. Because of that, we have to uh, careful about phenol also. And when we heating, if the boiling tube uh, is blast, what happen? Spill, it will spill into our eyes or skin or it is very dangerous. Because of that also, we are not using direct flame. Okay. On the other hand, when we increasing and decreasing temperature, we always use this water bath. We will not get out this. Uh, we will not get this uh, boiling tube out from the water bath. When we increase the temperature, the boiling tube should immerse in this water bath. And also, when we decrease temperature, we remove the Bunsen flame. We are not removing the boiling tube from this water bath. Api meka karana kota kaabu oil lava kwa boiling tube beka water bath taking a yeta gunmine. Api meka bansan flame meka ayin karla tamai temperature adjust kara gunmine. Oil lava kwa meka a yeta gunmine pool karan nitne, tap pick it all on nitne. Ema kuro era yaka kino. Ema kuro yaka tamai mata kati agan nona. Glass jars should be clean always. Those things we have to remember. On the other hand, we use uh, wooden test tube holder, wooden uh, boiling tube holder to uh, handle this boiling tubes uh, and we using water bath. Uh, we have to continuously stir the solution when we getting the readings, temperature readings uh, and likewise you can plot the uh, temperature versus composition of you know this type of phase diagram. That's the end of experiment number 3. We will move into uh, experiment number 4.